Hi, I'm Brock Archer with Advanced Extrication. This week on our Extrication Minutes video, I'm going to talk about high voltage shutdown for hybrid and electric vehicles. So shutting down the high voltage and isolating it to the high voltage battery before we do any cutting or crushing on a vehicle in locations where high voltage components may be present, it's critical at our incidents involving, again, hybrid and electric vehicles. But there are various different ways that manufacturers recommend that we shut down the high voltage and isolate it to the battery before taking action on the vehicle. So let's get into it. When we shut down the high voltage, we need to remember that we are never completely eliminating the high voltage from the vehicle. This is impossible because the high voltage battery stores that electricity no matter what we've done. So we can only isolate that high voltage to the battery. So keeping that in mind, let's talk about some of the various ways that manufacturers recommend that we shut down the high voltage. In some cases, they simply recommend turning off the ignition. And of course, that's effective for some vehicles. In other cases, it may be recommended that we utilize powering down the ignition and cutting the 12 volt battery terminals. And that may, in some vehicles, isolate the high voltage. In some rare cases, like the Toyota Prius, we're instructed to pull a couple of fuses out of the fuse box in the engine compartment to isolate the high voltage to the battery. But all of those pathways utilize the high voltage relay inside the battery. This high voltage relay opens when 12 volt power is taken away from it and it closes down allowing current to flow when 12 volt power is applied to the relay. So all of those various shutdown procedures utilize that high voltage relay. And in a past video I talked about how high voltage relays can fail. They can weld themselves closed constantly no matter what we do allowing power to flow through them. So none of those techniques for shutting down the high vol voltage are going to be 100% effective. So let's talk about the 100% effective way to shut down the high voltage and isolate it to the battery. That's using the service disconnect. The service disconnect is always found on the battery and it's a manual high voltage disconnection. When we pull a high voltage service disconnect or we utilize the, the service knob, we are actually disconnecting the high voltage manually. Now, some manufacturers don't recommend utilizing the high voltage service disconnect. As a matter of fact, Toyota Priuses and all Toyota vehicles that are high voltage vehicles are equipped with a high voltage service disconnect, but there's no mention of them in the emergency response guide. The reason for that is the same reason why most agencies have stopped pulling meters from residential and commercial buildings. It's because when we pull a high voltage connection, there is a possibility that we may become the path of least resistance for that electricity that might be flowing through that connection, in which case we could receive a shock or electrocution. In a high voltage vehicle, this is unlikely because the vehicle's electrical system, the high voltage electrical system, is neither grounded to the earth like we find in residential or commercial buildings, and it's also not grounded to the chassis of the vehicle. But because in an accident there is the possibility for the high voltage system to come in contact with the chassis, we do need to take some extra precautions when pulling high voltage connections. So, Let's talk about what those are. First of all, we wouldn't want to pull a high voltage connection if we had wet gloves on. That would make us more conductive and of course there's more potential for shock or electrocution. We also wouldn't want to be leaning on the body structure while we pulled the high voltage connection. In addition, we would want the power of the vehicle turned off if at all possible. This way we can be sure that the vehicle's electrical system or motors aren't engaged in drawing lots of current through that connection when we pull it. 
most emergency response guides that do identify the high voltage service disconnect and recommend it being used for rescuers advise that we wear lineman's gloves while pulling the high voltage disconnect. In an emergency situation, we're not going to find ourselves with lineman gloves at the incident. So we want to take care to make sure again, if we're going to utilize the high voltage service disconnect, that we have the vehicle shut down if at all possible, and be doing it with gloves on that are not wet, and not to make contact with the vehicle's chassis while pulling the high voltage connection. The high voltage disconnect, the service disconnect, is the only sure way to shut down the high voltage and isolate it to the battery on a high voltage vehicle. Let's talk street smarts real life for just a second. We've got a high voltage vehicle, a hybrid or electric that's wrapped around a telephone pole or a tree. And we're in a situation where we have to intimately interact with high voltage components, with the exception of the battery, at this incident. We need to do cutting and crushing on high voltage components or cabling to remove that occupant. Well, we're not going to let the occupant sit in the vehicle, so we're going to need to move forward on cutting and crushing those high voltage components to get that occupant out. In situations like that, we're going to want to utilize that high voltage service disconnect. Again, it's found on the battery of all hybrid and electric vehicles that are equipped with it. And most high voltage vehicles are in fact equipped with that service disconnect. So we can utilize that when we know we need to do cutting or crushing on high voltage components on a hybrid or electric vehicle. I hope you enjoyed this extrication minutes video. For more training information, visit advancedextrication.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Brock Archer. Take care and be safe.